taken our free website template and we've incorporated it into the Modex content management system. We've done this by using Modex chunks and templates and we've adapted the template to become an imaginary maritime navigation course website and we've done that by changing some text and replacing the placeholder images that came with the template. So I've added some more um, royalty free images that I found on the internet to make it look more like a, a, a maritime navigation website. In this lesson we're going to look at a few things you can do to optimize your site to make sure that it gets found successfully by the search engines. The first thing you can do is always make sure that you've got a description in the description box for each of your pages and that description should describe your page and include keywords about that page and that's because this description is going to appear let's just save that in the header of each page, the head of each page which is contained in our head chunk. So if we look at that we can see there we've used the template variable that gets the contents of that description box and puts it in the meta tag and this meta tag is used by the search engines in their results or more precisely it could be used by the search engines in the, their results because sometimes they use text from the page um, but if they can't, if they decide they don't want to use that text from the page, then they can use the description in the meta tag. So it's good to give them that choice. The search engines also look at the title of the page. So you want to make sure for every page that you have a title that, for example, this one is just home. That it tells you that it's the home page but you could add more text for example you could tell it that this is the home page for a website that does professional maritime navigation courses so you're getting some keywords in there as well so you want to do that for every page on your site but you want those titles to be unique and have relevant keywords for that page now if we go back to the head chunk We can see that in the head, so this is going to appear in the head of every page that this chunk is used in, which at the moment is every page on the site. We've got lots of files here. So every time there's a, a link to a file, your web, the web browser has to go and grab that file from the server. So that's going to slow things down a little bit and speed, the speed of your website is a factor that the search engines take into consideration. So what we can do is we can take these files and we can combine them into one, one file, one of each, so that the page will download quicker. So what I've done here is I've combined all these files into one file which I've called all.js and I've done the same with the CSS files. I've combined all these CSS files into one that I've called all CSS. Now what you see here is an, a new tag and this is a modex comment tag. So this just gets passed out before it gets sent to the client's browser. So the client browser never sees it so these files never get loaded. It's nice to be able to see what we originally had um, in case anything goes wrong and we want to um, or we want to change anything in a particular one of these files and we can go back to using those um, and you should keep a, a, also an original copy of the template that your site's based on uh, in case you accidentally delete these and you want to go back and find out you know which jQuery plugin that you're using because you've accidentally deleted it so this has given us a lot fewer 
files to download now so that's going to make the site that little bit quicker which is all going to help in the in the search engine ranking so if we view the page source we can see now that these there's just these two files all the JS in one file and all the CSS in one file so there's only going to be one visit for each of those files whereas there was five or six before so it will give us that little bit extra in speed for the website. Now let's have a look at our home page. We've got some images on here. Let's have a look at those images in the code. So on the index page, the home page, we're using this index template. If we find the images, here's the boat and lighthouse image. You should always give the alt tag um, a description of the image so that the search engines know what it is. And if the search engines know what it is, they're more likely to serve it up to a query and the more likely your site is to get a hit. And finally, I mentioned for headings. You should structure your site so that you've got a nice hierarchy of headings. So that means an H1 at the beginning, followed by H2 headings. And then if you've got any subheadings for those H2 headings, H3 headings, and so on. Apparently, the search engines like a well-structured hierarchical page. So we've covered some basic on-site search engine optimization tips in this lesson.